Pick it up, fill it in It shouldn't be too hard Hello, my name is A conversation starter Go on now, begin Tell us who you are As you consider if it fits after the year that you've been through Hello, my name is, do you hear an invitation To maybe set the skin that hides your deep
forgotten what you came for Hello, my name is You're scanning for the door Hello, my name is Gonna follow you wherever Hello, my name is Stuck to you forever A handful of letters A handful of letters Ooh. A handful I'm in the studio today with Sarah Morris and her band, and we're talking about her brand new record, Here's to You, which is coming out May 5th, right? Yes, 5-5. Five, hey. five. Welcome back to the studio, Sarah. Mike, thank you for having us. Congratulations on this record. Thank it you so much. It is so good. Mm. And now that I've been listening to these songs uh, close up, um, it's just great. So I'm thinking the last time you were here uh, on your own stuff was right before the pandemic. Yeah, all mine. And it was... Uh, Early February. Yeah, right. 2020. So now we're in uh, 2023. Right. How did the pandemic affect the songs on this record? That's the big question of the day. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, you know, I, they were, many of them were written either in 2020, 2021. So certainly um, they have, you know, elements of wanting to get the heck out of here, elements of, discovering yourself on the other side of things. Who are you now? You know, I think that's a big question that shows up a couple times Yeah. in the album is, and I'm still asking like, who am I as I move the world through the world now with that experience under my belt? How did I change? How did you change? How did like, what changes do we keep? You know? Mm -hmm. So I think that's in there. I think sonically, um, Going back to the earlier thing I said about wanting to get out of Dodge, um, I wanted to just try a f some different things. There's this German word that I'm obsessed with called a tapetin vexel, which is like the way I've been explained to it. It's you need a change of wallpaper <laughs> sometimes. And I was like, I want to make sure that like we change the wallpaper a little bit from the regular Sarah Morris sound. Not too. We didn't have to buy a new house. Just changed the wallpaper a little bit. So how, how did it change? <laughs> well, I worked with Dave Mailing uh -huh. as producer, and he, uh, I think he's kind of a genius, a very calm genius, and uh, it, like looked at all the songs and just added the just right kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm thrilled with it. Yeah. So things are slowly getting back to normal. Um, yeah. Obviously, you recorded a new record. Some gigs coming up, including the release on the 5th at mm -hmm. Ice House. Yes. Um, is it feeling like this is a brand new page, a brand new chapter? Uh, yeah, it feels like probably there's one foot in that book and one foot in like what's maybe coming next. You know, I think when we ended up sequencing the album... It starts with everything's changing, which I thought maybe would be the ending initially when I was dreaming up songs. And instead it ends with hello, my name is. And as I think about that, I'm like, well, I think there is some element of like, I don't know exactly what's coming next. You know, people are always uh, like Andrew Foreman, my bass player, who I love so much and has made such a difference in all my music. Like he doesn't live here primarily anymore. So even though I still text him and say, can you play a gig? And I know you live in Greece now, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's, it's that kind of stuff. Right. So I think there probably is some new coming along, but, um, but we still, I've got two books open, which is very much how I really read too. Yeah. <laughs> the album is called Here's to You, which mm -hmm. is the title track, which you played today. Uh, tell me about that song, about writing that song. Yeah. So that was a, so I belong to the songwriter group. We've talked about it, I think in mm -hmm. the past, but yeah. where we get a word prompt, um, sometimes a picture prompt, and we have a week to write a song about that word. And that was the final prompt of summer 2021. And so 
everything really was changing. We were starting to get that change in the air and my kids were going to be going back to school for the first time. That was a big deal because we'd had a year and a half with no, uh, with school for my couch. And so, (laughs) um, so that was brewing in my heart. And then we were given the prompt pinup and I had just had this conversation with a friend, about how I've just always thought napes, like the nape of your neck is the like just sweetest spot on someone. I, it's what I used to think was really cute on boys when I had crushes. And like, I still like the act of a woman putting up her hair to go out to a party or something. I just find that really enchanting. And so when I saw pin up, that was just like, you know, the word was pin up and I just, the song pin up your hair kind of fancy, like that just like popped out and um, and that's sort of where that came from. And I remember singing it a few weeks later at a outdoor show. And I just had this swirly sense about it. Like, yeah, everything is changing. And sometimes I really hate it. And sometimes <laughs> I also like it more than I thought I would. Yeah. You know, yeah, I get the feeling that I think of you, of your songs always as, um, uh, very positive and supportive yeah. and, um, that one fell right in there. At first I was going, what is this about? And I had to listen a little bit yeah. longer. But uh, that's lovely. Really nice image. Thank you for listening to it. The next song is uh, one of my favorites. You are champagne on a Wednesday. This is so celebratory. Yay. I just love it. Oh, I'm so glad you love it. Oh, yeah. Good. Tell me about that song. Yeah. So that was written for, inspired by the word pop. And I was up in Ely at our cabin and I was running, like trying to figure out what to do with it. I was like, do I write a pop song? And then I went to one of my favorite ways to celebrate. I love sparkling wine. And I thought about um, my mom and how sometimes she doesn't maybe realize how spectacular she is. <laughs> and I thought about my best friend, and I thought about how she doesn't sometimes realize it. And then as I started digging deeper into it, and it was one of those things, again, where that first line just pops out, champagne on a Wednesday, why not? Give me a reason. Like, right. let's have it. So the image was really clear. And then as I got into the chorus imagery, which is you're effervescent, you're light as air, you know, bright as the moon, you're incandescent, all this like super bright imagery. It made me think of, I have this song called Brighter that I wrote for my daughter Millie years ago. And so I thought, oh my gosh, this is really like a grown up brighter. So it's also kind of for grown up Millie. Mm-hmm. Like if she's having one of those moments where she doesn't know how marvelous she is, like I want her to know. I want you to know. I want every. I mean, that's the other thing. It's like, it's just, sometimes it's really easy to forget. Each of us are spectacular in some way. Yeah. So. You uh, ended the set today and also your album with uh, the song You Are. No. You ended the set and you ended the album with a song about a name tag, about yeah. my name is. Yeah, I got one. Hello, on. my name is. <laughs> so um, that's not quite as positive that's a little bit different yeah kind of an interesting ending to your album tell me about that song so that was inspired by the word badge and when it came out it was probably winter of i want to say 2022 like we'd definitely been dancing in the we're in regular world now and what i noticed for myself is i would go to things specifically like parties or conferences i'd maybe been to a music conference by that point and the poignance of how I did feel different in these large group settings like sometimes I felt more like this is fun than I used to or more comfortable and sometimes I felt like I don't know is this even who I am anymore and just kind of wrestling with that and so when we got the badge prompt I just that was the badge I thought of was the the maybe in the past we would just mindlessly like write down our name and now let's instead like consider who we are going out in the world. And the other side piece of that is like I was able to put in this really personal story of how I actually was named because my, my mother was a single mother and she didn't, she had a name to pick out, picked out for me, but my grandma was her labor coach Oh. And primary, like, I about this. primarily yeah. just ate Snickers is what I was told. But <laughs> I'm sure grandma did a great job. And <laughs> when, when I was born, my grandma objected. My grandma, who is like, was one of my best friends. I love her so much. And, and she made the right choice. But she said that um, she wanted me to have a biblical name. And the name I was supposed to have was Justine, which did not appear. It was not in the Bible. And so 
I'm surprised that my mom acquiesced, but she did. And I became Sarah just like everybody else in, you know, late 70s, early 80s, mm-hmm. <laughs> popular move. And um, yeah, so that was kind of my a moment for both of those very wonderful women in my life. And eventually I did get this electric guitar that I named Justine. So, <laughs> okay, so there right. is a Justine. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, your name was, you were born on a cold November evening. I was. And that's, uh, yeah. I wondered if that was a true story yep. about your grandma. Yep. Okay. I'm a horrible liar, so that's, <laughs> that's just what happened. I'm in the studio with Sarah Morris. Her new record is called um, Here's to You, and the CD release show is 5-5. Five five, that's right. May 5th at Ice House in Minneapolis, along with Emily Havick. Mm-hmm. Should be a fun show. Who's all going to be there? The whole the Sometimes Guys? Yes, which, you know, we get to have Sometimes Guys because that way that people can move to Greece. Like, you play with me sometimes. Andrew was just here. <laughs> Andrew's on the record, but he won't be at the release show. But Nick Salisbury, who is here with us today, will be at the okay. release show. He's Sometimes Guy, too. And uh, Thomas Nordland, Dave Mailing, the producer, and Annie Fitzgerald, Haley Rydell will sing some harmonies. I'll bring some other special guests up for some other songs. Um, and did I get everybody? Buddy, Dave, Tom, Lars, Lars, Lars. Eric Larson. Yes, it's fine. Our birthday, <laughs> our birthday friend. Yeah, no, he will be there holding it down. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, congratulations on this record, Sarah. Thank you. So good to see you again. So uh, good to see you, especially after all we've lived through in the last three years, I know. right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations on the record. Sarah Morris is in the studio today on Radio Heartland. The record is called "Here's to You," and it comes out May fifth. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. The Current is public media made possible thanks to member support.